What's up everyone? Welcome back. It's Chase here. Um, for those who checked out our last video that we just posted, uh, at the start of the video I mentioned that we uh, just recently partnered up with Okuma Fishing. And I was luckily, lucky enough today to flat forget our first shipment in from them. And I got two big boxes and a rod, a box of rod cases. So I'm ready to open those up for you guys and show you the products that I picked out that we're going to be using all season long and next upcoming seasons and uh yeah i'm just so stoked to show you guys this stuff it's, it's some really high quality stuff uh and like i said in the last video they price it at such a fair point and we're beyond stoked that we can uh show you guys this stuff and uh, get it out on the water this year so that being said let's get this first box uh stabbed and uh ready to go okay so box number one there's uh, boxes from that are gonna contain Okuma Reels. There's a box that's gonna contain a bunch of baits that we got from Fish Lab that's partnered up with Okuma. So I'm not exactly sure which one this is. We'll get stabbed in right away. And we'll take a look. Got a bunch of different stuff that is, well, fishing related, bait related, tackle related. So it looks like this one we have our Fish Lab backpack. First product that we got is a Fish Lab backpack. This is such a sweet little product and I've been wanting a backpack like this for a long time. It has compartments for four different, uh, four different uh, tackle compartments. It's got space for your every single thing you need. Your plastic baits, it has plier containers, comes with four packs of the Fish Lab uh, tackle box. And uh, yeah, you're just your planos and stuff like that. So such a sweet little product i saw this online and i'm like okay yeah this will be so perfect for taking on if i'm ever going on other people's boats if i'm ever transferring stuff from boats it's just a perfect little compartment for all this different stuff so pretty stoked with that one along with the fish lab backpack we made sure to get some bigger planos i got a bigger plano fish lab uh tackle box this thing will be perfect for bigger musky baits any big pike spoons all that good stuff and we got a, oh, it looks like Fish Lab sent us a nice little hoodie to go along with it. Perfect, nice little apparel, nice black Fish Lab hoodie. Stoked for that. That'll be sweet to get out on the water. So yeah, that was first box. Good start, really good start. Okay, box number two. Let's see what we got in here. This one's got a little, it's a lot heavier than the other one, so I'm assuming we might have some reels in here and maybe some more, uh, maybe some more products from Fish Lab. Like I said, we have had some old school bait boxes, so we uh, decided to grab a bunch more from Fish Lab. So we got a bunch of different sizes, some more of those, so we can get our stuff in uh, some more more durable boxes. Another one, we got some Okuma gear. Stoked to get uh, some apparel, rip the apparel this summer. We got another fish lab box for the big boys. They got, I believe it's three or four different sizes for these, so we made sure to get a variation of it. So yeah, if you're ever looking for some sturdy, like these things are uh, good to go. If you're ever looking for some good tackle boxes, I'd suggest going to take a look at their stuff. All right, another one, another one. Like I said, we stocked up. We got the tackle boxes. What else we got? Nice little fish lab beanie. Those things are sweet. Those are really nice. What else we got here? We got some Fish Lab shirts. Another Fish Lab hoodie. Or Akuma hoodie. Yeah, we got a couple nice Akuma hoodies that we stocked up on. And oh my goodness, this box is full of the goods. Alright. I'm ready to dive into this. We got a lot of stuff from Fish Lab, so I might just go through a couple of the really good ones that uh, I'm really excited to test out this summer. And then uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the, the bigger price points, which are the Okuma reels. So, that being said, this to the side. product number one that I'm pretty stoked that we got is the Rattle Toad. These look like hardcore, really good topwater frogs, and we're really looking forward to getting into some really good largemouth fishing this year. They got a nice little rattle in them. Got to come in a bunch of different colors. We got a black. We got a white, we got a couple different sizes, we got poppers, we got all the different ones. So yeah, we got a 
ton of different frogs. Anybody that does a lot of frog fishing knows that as soon as you go through a frog and they start to get a little bit waterlogged, they become tough to use. So we're pretty excited to uh, get these. They look really durable. And yeah, we just got a bunch of those. Pretty stoked for those. Next one we got the bio jerk minnow. We got a bunch of different sizes of these and uh, all at different depths. We fish the inner bay on Long Point on Lake Erie and these are really good for suspended largemouth and uh, also really good for pike and stuff like that. And we're also gonna be trolling these for walleye and uh, rainbow trout this summer. So these are gonna crush all different sizes. You got the different varying depths with the bigger lips. So those are also something we're super stoked to get used to this year. We got, oh, fish hog, we got a bunch of different craws. We do a lot of smallmouth fishing. So these craws, the craw, uh, the kick and craw, these things are gonna crush. Toss these on a little Ned rig this uh, set up this summer and uh, it's gonna be the ticket. What else we got in here? Some more jerk minnows, more frogs. And then we got some smaller stuff as well. So we got the, the bio shad willow tailspin. These are gonna be really good for smallmouth and suspended water uh, in the fall, which we're gonna do a bunch of. We got some stuff for this ice fishing season. We got just some uh, just some glide baits, little jigging glide baits. More craws. Minnows. Some more of these tail spins. They come in a bunch of different sizes. Same as these ones, tons of different sizes you can get. Tons of variation. More of that. Another one that we're super excited for is the Bio Shad Flutter Spoon. These things are going to these things are going to be great come uh, ice fishing season. We're really excited to start throwing these or uh, dropping them down for lake trout, dropping them down for uh, walleye. They got a little shimmy shake to them, and uh, I also think these are going to crush. We're going to be going for burbot this uh, this winter, so I'm really excited to get those down with a big hunk of minnow on them. Yeah, tons of good good stuff. Got some fluorocarbon from Soft Steel. Some other more floral cover from soft steel. More floral cover from soft steel. And then this one, really cool product that we have. We had a cheaper version of this and then I saw that Okuma had it. It's a line cutter, it's a, it's a big multi-tool and it was just something that I used the cheaper one and a ton. It's just such a simplistic thing to have in your taco box. And I was like, oh, Okuma's got a better one. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely grab one of those. So that's sweet to have. That'll be great to have in the boat. Like I said, glad baits. Thanks. Some more flutter spoons. All the goods. Really excited for all these baits. They all look really good. They, I'm really stoked to get this fish lab stuff in the water this summer. There's just too much to look for. Really excited to show the boys all this stuff. Okay, moving on to some of our uh, bigger ticket items. When I reached out to Okuma, uh, I knew exactly kind of the reels that I wanted to get started with. The first one being the cold water uh, Okuma trolling reels. When I started this channel, one of the first product, uh, actually the first product review that I ever did, or just talking about a product, was the Okuma Cold Water Reel. They were one of the only, if not the only, brand that came out with a left-handed reel. It, I found it super frustrating to being an angler who reels left-handed and not having that option out there. So to have them have that option out there, I was super stoked to have. So we got three Okuma uh, Cold Waters. CW203 DLX. These things are sweet. They're, I know for a fact how good they are. We've been using them for years. And they do some work. They're, they're definitely they're nice and low key, fit nice in the hand. And like I said, you have that left handed reel. So if you're a left handed fisherman who is really tired of reeling right when you're out trolling, go take a look at Okuma's setup. They have a bunch of different trolling reels that are all come left handed. Super great to have. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna open up is the ha Hakai DT uh, from Okuma. Really excited about this one. This is one that's caught my eye for a long time online. Let's take a look at her. It's a nice low profile bait casting reel. And that thing is spiffy. So light, barely can feel it. This thing is gonna be sweet. You could cast all day with it. It's not gonna be strenuous on the hands. This one right here, I believe is a 6 to uh, 6.21. 6-1 ratio, it's just too smooth. This thing's gonna be like butter. It's gonna be great for flipping for largies, great for going frogging, literally could handle anything. This would be great for the inner bait pike as well. So pretty stoked for that one. 
a really nice reel. Moving forward, we got the Citrix, Okuma Citrix CI 364LXA. This thing is a bit of a beefier bait casting reel. This is for some bigger guns right here. You can see the size difference. You got the uh, the Hakai DT, and then you got the Citrix, and it's just it's much beefier. This is going to be for bigger for bigger pike. If you're going to go for bigger largies, we're tossing around bigger baits. This is going to be a sweet reel. Another one that's caught my eye for a long time. It's just a beefy beefy reel, and it allows you to target much bigger fish. This could even handle stuff if you're going for maybe smaller muskies. I would suggest getting the Okuma Komodo if you're going to be going for tossing the big baits for uh, muskies, but this thing will be perfect for handling any twitch baits for muskies, tubes, any of that stuff. So yeah, another really nice reel. Looking forward to using that this summer. Last on the setup is the Okuma Seymour CBF 55. I believe this is the... This is the bait feeder reel. So, this is a reel that I looked forward to getting because I was looking for a bait feeding reel. If you those, the, those that don't know what a bait feeding reel is, it is something where you can flick this thing over and what it allows you to do is it allows you to free spool line. So, for somebody who fishes for carp like myself, I love carp fishing, this is a sweet thing to do. It allows the fish to take the line without recognizing that it's taking, uh, taking the line without having the bail flipped. You don't need to have the bail flipped all you gotta do is flip that line when you're going into going after the fish, boom, you can hit it. This is going to be a sweet thing for big, big carp. It's a beefy reel, it allows you to handle those big carp. Anybody who does a lot of carp fishing or anybody who does a lot of bigger fishing, this thing is gonna be sweet for big lakers as well if you're drinking for lakers, anything that's just a bigger size fish. Trophy, trophy size reel right there. That's what we got set up right now for our reels that we got from Okuma. We got the cold water, we got the Citrix, we got the Hakai, and then we got the Samar. These are all really slick reels. I'm really looking forward to uh, using them. They all have their own purposes. So, and that was something that I wanted to showcase. I didn't want to get a bunch of different, or a bunch of the same reels where I'm only using it for trolling. I wanted to get a bunch in the different lineup and this is just my start. I'm definitely going to be ordering some more so I can have a full range where I can use them for all different species. So I'm really pumped. The only thing left to do is open a few more rods and then uh, we'll call it a day. Okay, so we got three rods set up here. I'm not going to be chit chatting. I'm going to get these things open because they are well packaged. So I'm going to get the knife to them. And uh, once we're open, we'll take a look at all three of these rods individually. Okay. Okay, our first rod that we have here, once I get it out of the package here, I'll admit, if ever you're looking for a company that takes their packaging serious, you're going to get your stuff from Okuma and it's not going to be broken. That was well packaged. This is the Okuma Ciros. Uh This is a, which one did I order here? We have a medium action seven foot. So this is the bait casting reel. So I'm going to be pairing this with the, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to pair this with the Akai. Super lightweight, this is gonna be such a slick setup. This is gonna be great for me when I'm going for largemouth. We're gonna be looking for, going for dogfish and stuff soon. We're gonna be looking for snakehead. We're gonna be doing a tons of different stuff and this is gonna be my go-to setup for that stuff. This rod is slick and this is probably one of the nicer rods when it comes to looks that I've ever owned. So, super sweet, awesome product. Okay, so the second rod we ordered was the Okuma Celio. It's a eight foot six medium light action. This thing is going to be my go-to smallie rod for the summer. I'm somebody who doesn't like a short and stocky rod when it comes to smallies. I like a nice finesse rod. I like to be able to cast those Ned rigs as far as possible. And that longer distance rod is something that allows you to do that. It's super sensitive. The medium light is what I like to run. I find the mediums are even a little bit stiff. So that's why I went with the eight six medium light. I'm really stoked for this. This is going to absolutely smash smallmouth out on Erie. And I can already tell I'm going to be using this rod way more than anything else I have right now in my arsenal. And the last rod we got is the 
the GLS Okuma GLS Custom. This is a nine foot six medium light. This is something that I ordered because something that I'm hoping to get into in the short future is steelhead fishing, float head, floating steelhead fishing on the Niagara River. And this is a rod that will be perfect for the thing. Same thing, you want that huge distance, super sensitive, super lightweight, definitely something that's going to be getting used a ton. Another one that will be great for getting that distance with uh, smallmouth fishing. So. This is a two piece, the 9.6, it's a super long rod. That's why it's nice to have it broken down so it's easy to transport. So, another rod. Right now we're all finished off. That's three rods, six reels, tons of bait, tons of apparel, tons of uh, tackle boxes. I got a lot of organizing to do here, but I'm super stoked to get it all done. Get the stuff in uh, some boxes and uh, get this uh, Okuma stuff out on the water. Another big thanks to Okuma. For, uh, for sponsoring our, our channel and sponsoring our group. We are super stoked. We have been huge fans of your guys for a long time and uh, to be part of uh, the Okuma fishing team is a huge dream come true. So thanks for watching. If you are uh, in, interested in any of this stuff or any of the other stuff, I will link uh, our stuff in down below and we will uh, we'll link uh, Okuma's site as well and uh, Fish Labs as well so you can take a look at all their gear. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.